Well, in case you didn't notice, it's Halloween. Now, Halloween is a kid's gig, right? They go out, they get candy, trick-or-treating, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, why can't we have a groovy Halloween as well, right? So, what is adult candy? What is it? It's sweet wine. It's yummy, delicious, nectary sweet wine. <laughs> So port, we're going with port. I can use the old cliche, any port in a storm. Uh, port is beautiful. You should drink port. Quinta de Laval, 2005 LBV. Why'd we pick this? Well, look at the super spooky label with the with the raven, or I don't know, like a crow, or uh, 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 a spooky bird. <laughs> no, but seriously, the 2005 Canton Laval LBV is one of the greatest values in port on the market. Canton Laval, one of the historic port houses of all time. 94 Canton Laval Nacional. Rippin' Wine, greatest bottle of port I ever had in my life. Now, that bottle of port, the 94 Nasty Now, is a 1,200 bucks a bottle, all right? The difference here is this guy from the same vineyards, vintage dated, rolls about uh, one, one hundredth of that price. Yeah, we're talking less than 20 bucks for a single vineyard single vintage port from one of the top guys. Now, why is it so cheap? Well, this is what they call the late bottle vintage. And a late bottle vintage port, we went over it with some of the Dow's ports in the past. The deal is in the, the, the lots that aren't quite good enough to go into even like the 80 or $90 stuff in the years that they do declare it, they declassify those into what they call late bottle vintage. And these wines are exactly what the name implies. They're late bottle. They spend an extra two to three years in wood to round out, to soften up, and to get all creamy and sweet and lush and candy. So when they released, you can drink them right now. And that's the key with late bottled vintage ports. So they're, they're kind of like the, the junior wine from a great port house, but not really the junior wine because it's the same vineyards. It's a vintage dated wine. It ages in wood. It's like the whole shoot and match bottled unfiltered in this case. So this is like serious port from a serious port house at a not so serious price. So. I want everybody to have a safe, beautiful, delicious Halloween. And remember, as you're heading into the holiday season, this is a prime, prime candidate for your Thanksgiving slash Christmas slash Hanukkah slash Kwanzaa table. Really phenomenal wine. It is, should I say it? Should I say it? Yeah. It's scary good. <laughs> Happy Halloween.